Got to move the wife's birthday truck here. There she be. There, got her truck moved out of the way. This is actually a really sweet truck. And then we've got my collection sitting indoors. The only reason why these are all inside right now is because the truck here is going to be getting shipped off to the giveaway winner here once we know who that is. And then there's going to be an open spot here, which means we are going to be putting Reagan's red truck right back in here. And we're going to have to find a, a different spot for our mower there. This garage door is a pain in the butt. guys are all doing absolutely fabulous we are in the third gen right now the new build and I'm super excited for this because we've already got a lot of stuff headed our way we've got suspension stuff I'm gonna leave that kind of like in the air as to what exactly I went with we've got wheels and tires on the way we've got a bunch of cosmetic upgrades on the way we've got some performance parts on the way front of the hood I mean just a whole bunch of stuff I also got off the phone with the guys over at maximum overdrive transmission and we've got a 600 plus horsepower transmission build coming for this truck I mean it's gonna be sick so hopefully guys are all super excited for that this truck's gonna be turned into a monster I did also talk to our diesel performance shop regarding upgrades for the fifth gen and they did say that there are some things starting to become available soon but still not quite yet they're not quite like fully readily available for some parts that we need to you know get that thing under the knife so to speak to get some stuff you know ripped off of it we're almost there we're almost to that point we also got a ton of stuff ordered in for the wife's truck and uh well which truck you might be asking her new truck um and some stuff for her rosine build so it's going to be awesome we're both going to be working on a ton of content ton of videos hopefully you guys are super super freaking stoked because we are that's for sure right now we are actually on our way to napa and we're going to be buying a battery to attempt to start the mud truck yes the mud truck I know it's kind of been neglected and um, just sitting out and I actually kind of forgot I own that truck going through the list of trucks that I owned right now I'm like dang it babe I'm like we almost own every generation of Dodge except for a first gen. she's like you own a first gen I'm like oh crap I do own that first gen it's sitting at my dad's barn over there and I'm like I need to go get that thing started so that we can get it out of their place it's just sitting back there all just like caked in mud we do own every generation of Dodge right now we own the first second third fourth and fifth gen right now and um it's pretty freaking cool honestly i never thought i'd be able to say that but if the first gen was a little bit nicer we'd own a nice one of every generation anyways guys we're gonna get over there get a new battery in that truck and hopefully hopefully that is what that truck needs to get started and running again get the hood popped on the old first gen here and I'm just hoping and hoping that you know the battery is the only thing keeping this thing from running because I'm not really 100% sure well that is $150 I will never get back that truck is just completely dead i do not know what it is all i know is that there's a fly that got on my truck when i opened the door anyways it does the exact same thing it reads low voltage on the dash and then when i turn the key to start it just goes click like it doesn't do anything else on the truck so i'm kind of at a loss for words in terms of like what is the exact issue obviously this truck's got a special situation now that it was submerged in water up to the hood so it could be a whole different slew of wiring things i have no idea but um it's reading low voltage not a click, even with a brand spanking new battery. It's actually the same battery that was in it, but just a brand new version of that battery. I took the ground wire off of the starter too, and then I sanded down around it to make sure it was a good metal to metal contact, put it back on, it doesn't wanna start. I don't know what it is. At this point, I don't really care what it is. I've got my dad's old wheels on here, which of course those are in pretty gnarly shape, worse than the other ones. And so we're just gonna keep these on here. And honestly, 
when Devin gets his truck, he's not buying it for the wheels and tires. He's buying it for what's under the hood. This is definitely the least of it. He was looking for that engine is what he wanted. Actually, on our way to my parents' place because we've got to help our buddy Devin load up his new first gen because yes we are donating the first gen to Devin in trade for some work so he's gonna do a couple trucks for us he's got to do some suspension stuff for us in trade he's going to just get the mud truck because he wants the engine out of it called him I said hey how's that sound he said deal let's do it so that's what's going down and say our goodbyes to the mud truck and hand over the title to Devin. And I'm actually kind of excited to see what he does with that engine because he's looking to put it in an in international scout. Saying goodbye to the mud truck. Man, look at this Denali though. So the video took kind of a turn. We were gonna do some stuff with trying to get the first gen running, didn't work. I ended up thinking I was gonna make a video about donating the first gen to Devin, which didn't quite work because I didn't plan the timing right and that was my fault. I had a date night that night and I totally kind of like planned it on the wrong day to where I couldn't really get any more video, but that's all good because I wouldn't want it any other way. I'd rather go out on a date with my beautiful wife than uh, try to get another video in. So I was like, okay, we're gonna cut the film. I'll start this back up tomorrow. So we're back out here with the third gen, taking a shift here. So we've got actually a little bit of something for, for the third gen. I think you guys are gonna like this. It's actually a set of new tail lights for this truck. Okay, really good looking tail lights. And why new tail lights? Well, because these are just a little bit too factory for my liking. We do have a lot more stuff coming for the truck, like I said in the video. We've got you know, wheels and tires and suspension stuff and power upgrades and a whole bunch of stuff on the way. But this is one of those things that's easy to do, it's simple to do, and I thought I would add it into this video to give you guys a little bit something more to watch than, uh, than just the issues that we had with the first gen. I'm just starting to work on this truck and uh, you guys thought I was kidding that we have more parts coming. There's UPS holding up the traffic to uh, deliver us some more truck parts. More truck parts showed up again. If you want to, you can open them up. They're, um, I don't know what they are, but they're, actually they're over by the mower, my bad, I kinda forgot. I know one of them's going to be some suspension stuff for your new truck, and then um, that's gonna be un unnamed. You guys are gonna have to go watch your video to find out what she's got. And then in terms of the other two boxes, I'm not exactly sure what they are. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to open those up and see what you got. We got the tail lights installed, and I gotta say they look pretty freaking good. They do look awesome. And you'll see the headlight setup that we got coming here soon, and you're gonna know exactly why these taillights match so darn good. I mean, they're just gonna look good. So we got the daytimes. Okay, here's the daytime. Of course, the lighting isn't quite as good through the camera as it looks in person, but it looks I mean, it looks really good. Can you turn on the hazards, babe? There's your hazards. And it looks good. It looks really good. Well, of course I like them. They look like mine. Oh, well, of course she likes them. Well, of course she likes them, fam. So that's going to put a wrap on this. But one more time, I'm going to show you guys how we have to park trucks in this garage. Uh, but anyway, so we've got Mordecai which is gonna be going to one of you guys soon. We got the third gen, we've got Rosine, we got the fourth gen, Limited sitting out front, we've got the lawn care truck, and then we've got you know our lawn care guys that have to come in here and park, and one of them drives a big old third gen Cummins. So this driveway, even though we have tons of drive space compared to most of the houses around here, we freaking fill it. Everybody thinks we're like a dealing stuff over here or something, all we're dealing is merch though. Isn't that right, honey? We don't deal drugs, we deal merch.
toasty is it in there? Really toasty. <laughs> Move her truck out of the way. She's gonna try to get Rosine back to the shop there. She's got the limited right here, and we're trying to figure out how we're gonna park all these trucks because we were thinking originally we want to hide the limited and the new fourth gen in the shop, you know, just so people driving by, we believe it or not, our vehicles get spotted here all the time. And when you have certain trucks, it's just kind of hard to not notice them like the limited, and then especially once her you know, new truck here starts to get built more, it's gonna be really tough to hide it. We're just trying to figure it out, but then we also think, well, we don't wanna leave the truck to the older paint sitting outside because, you know, they're more sensitive to the sun and it's blistering hot. So we decided we're just gonna suck it up and park the old trucks in the shop. that's how the shop's going to be set up for now we've got the third gen rosine and we've got mordecai which is going to be going to one of you guys and you guys can make it your problem to fit in your shop good problem to have though right so anyways guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that thumbs up leave those comments down below huge announcement coming july 26th stay tuned and i will catch you guys in the next video peace